Hello good people, welcome back to Shifting News, a wonderful channel with amazing views and great videos. And to all our returning subscribers, supporters, we say thank you. You are a family to us, you are the ones making us to go out for more videos. And uh, to all our new visitors, make sure you join the family, subscribe. And as you can see, I'm here at Westlands, that is Delta Corner. This is Delta Towers and uh, ahead of us is the One Africa Place, a nice building and uh, it hosts the BMW offices and uh, this is Westlands in general and uh, I'm also joined with one of my brothers, a friend of mine in this shoot, he has a good channel, he's doing amazing videos, you can always visit his channel, support him, subscribe, like his videos, comment and share the videos. And uh, let him just introduce himself. Hello guys, once again this is Etonaji Rebranded. We are here with Shifting News to give you great content. Guys, remember to subscribe, share and comment to our videos to make us help us grow together. Thank you guys and enjoy the show today. Yeah, that is Etonaji Rebranded. And uh, today we are just going to do an amazing video. I'm starting my shoot from Westlands. I'm heading to... Nairobi South and Bypass just going to give you amazing views as we connect through the different roads we are just going to see the roads we are going to use it will be unique so just be ready to enjoy the views left the Waiyaki way now we have joined which road is this uh, <laughs> I'm forgetting the name <laughs> I think guys can remind us I'm for those who know this what do you think is the name of this road I'm forgetting the name and I know most roads here but this hey. one I don't know what is happening <laughs> you, you, you brought me off guard it's the ring road Ring Road. <laughs> it is the Ring Road. Yes. Not Ring Road Ngara. You know, we have the other one, Ring yeah, Road Ngara. Ngara yeah. So this one is the Ring Road that leads us through Kleleshwa. Yeah. Kleleshwa, all the way to Yaya Center. You know, if I tell you the story about Yaya Center, you know, when I was small, mm -hmm. but to say me mimi ni bon tao, mm -hmm. I wasn't born in town. Uh, that is where mainly when I appear happened in Nairobi. <laughs> I thought Why? that the headquarter. Because of the it was uh, it was a nice area, very well built. Na pondo mimi nilipanda escalator ya kwanza in my life. <laughs> so I always thought that Yaya Center was eh, the place to be in Nairobi. So, so yeah. if you could, someone could just question. I'll just say, ah, Yaya Center no, no, is the capital city of Kenya. Mm. And, I, and I think we can see town. And those, those ages we used to live. Shifting news. Explore. Yes. Explore. So you have to Feel. Shift. No. Uh, we, I just came to visit during uh, school holidays. You know, I came, my first time to come to Nairobi was in our, after my high school. Ah. So that's the, makes the difference between. So on the left. Yeah, on the left you, the, can, you can go back to. Uh, Waiyaki so way. is it the Chiromo? The Chiromo no, lane. No, Chiromo lane is on the other side of Waiyaki Way. Mm -hmm. So this one is normally there is uh, that unique name that um, I'm forgetting. Uh, You're forgetting the name of this road, but it connects to. It connects back to yeah. the Chiromo place, like we have the Chiromo campus. So this one is heading to Kileleshwa. Kileleshwa, yeah. We are heading to Kileleshwa. Yeah, and you see the traffic is moving well. People are observing. So that road is known as the Riverside Drive. 
Ah, yes, Riverside Drive. Right? Yeah, it connects from Mayaki Way near the camping site. Yeah. So, and this one on the left, if you go with the left one, you can go join uh, the one from State House Road. State House Road yeah. You can go, and just those gardens there that is Aboretum. A nice garden where you can, uh, for those, for the couples, you can go relax there. I think for now there is entrance fee. It's not uh, free yet. Right? No, the, the, in them days uh, it was free. But uh, I think for now there is entrance fee. But you can always go there. Not only for couples, even uh, even those who can just wish to go and relax there can just uh, connect there. So we are in Kilele. Oh, now this is officially Kleleshwa. I normally get confused between the boundaries of Kleleshwa, Lavington, and Kiliman. Maybe if you go to the Lands Commission, <laughs> you can get the, <laughs> the, exact the data. I thought you were born in town, so you understand. The I wasn't born in town, I told you I was just visiting. Okay. Yes. I'm not like those people in Kiambu. Yeah. You know, someone tells you Shago Kwetu in Kiambu. <laughs> Where you can walk? 100 shillings. He is there. How much do you use to You want to know? I think now the fuel has hiked. So I don't know. Right <laughs> now it's how much. Maybe it's about 3,000 shillings. By plane or by road? It doesn't matter the means. <laughs> okay, so you're still in Kleleshwa. So, you know, someone who visited Nairobi 10 years ago, if he comes back, they'll need a map. To maneuver Nairobi. And they'll need someone to direct them. And that's why, that's one of the reasons we are doing these videos. Just moving around, showing people the developments that are taking place around Nairobi and even in Kenya. And prepare for a grand tour. We are going to do a grand sweep. We are not going to reveal the place we are going to, but it will be a grand trip of the year. At the end of this year? Within this year, 2023. So the remaining three months? You know, the, the last one we did was up to, we did a trip to uh, Burundi Bujumbra. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, our most of our videos uh, they got lost, so we couldn't bring the whole content as we were traversing. It was a road trip. Okay. Yes. So are you going to the same direction? Or this one? Yeah, That's why I said, yeah. It is a surprise. I'm not going to reveal the place. It will be a surprise, and maybe it will be a surprise for you. Never know. That will be better. Let me start preparing for it. You prepare. Make sure I, oh, oh, everything is intact. Especially you have updated driving license. Everything. So people, remember we are just using the ring road. We are con we have connected from Westlands. We just need to see how traffic moves from Westlands as we connect to Nairobi Southern Bypass. All of you can remember that Nairobi Southern Bypass is one of the ring roads that was uh, constructed around Nairobi to ease in traffic jams. Uh, especially the Southern Bypass diverts traffic. Uh, especially the trucks that they don't cross now the CBD. I hope you know that. Yeah, yeah. They don't use CBD anymore. So we are here on the roundabout here and we want to join Oloitok Tok. Uh, we are now leaving Oloitok Tok. Oh, we are, we are doing... not going straight. Ah, so now we, we, have, we have taken another road. Yeah. Oloitok Tok goes straight. This is uh, uh, also, this stretch here is Likon Road. Oh. Between this junction 
around about on this particular Dennis Creek from about. Ah, Dennis Creek is yeah. the one that hosts uh, Citizen TV officers. Yeah. Royal Media. Royal Media. Ah. So I found out that so this is Dennis Street. Ah. You can use it to connect back to State House, Arboretum. That is a unique vehicle. Yeah, very unique. You can see the roundabout here is so amazing. So amazing roundabout. So I think we are finally connecting to a place I am friendly with. It's friendly to me. This is a ring road, Bandi road, and then it is connecting you to Yaya Center, where you first used ah, yeah, escalators, yeah. Yeah? yeah. And you can see the design of that building there. Yeah? Very unique. Very unique. You know Nairobi, I think there is one building we are just going to do a coverage one of these fine days. It's famous. And uh, it has a unique history for the engineers who did it and I don't know what they were thinking but if you if you listen to what they say it is uh, you, you just become happy which building will be that? Uh, no, uh, when I'll do the video that's <laughs> when you'll understand what I'm talking about I'll do the video and bring the reality I'll bring what it is, it is associated with you can see the different designs here at the Yaya Center. Yeah. And this building here at the Yaya Center, mm -hmm. I'm told it's ages yeah. under construction. What is happening? Ah, oh, I thought you said the under construction. Yeah. It has never been completed. I don't know. This one here. Maybe. Vico, can you tell us what is happening in this building? Maybe there are people who know the reality. Uh, and you know sometimes when the owner maybe Maybe the owner is not present or there is a court case. You know sometimes when the court stops construction, you have to be very careful. And I can see the traffic lights, they are very working, working very well. People are observing them. And this is the Yaya Center, the famous, the famous building. This is where I entered, this is where I first used an escalator. I hope you, do, you know what I mean with the escalator. Yes. Not the lift. Not the lift. Yes. You can see this design here, like a staircase. Is, is in that wastage of space? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a very common question to engineers. <laughs> right. I think so. People just sit down, and decides to design something unique. unique. Like, uh, I think uh, when you go to Jerusalem, there is the Twin Tower. So maybe when you go there, you can be told about the unique history about maybe why they decided to come up with such a name. And you also remember in Kenya here, even in Nairobi, we have the pension, the new pension towers. There are Twin Towers looking alike. Apokaribu na This area is uh, Kiliman yeah, or Kilimanjaro. This is Kiliman. Ah, That's so that is Divine Collections. Yeah. So it is located here. Divine you know, uh, you normally, yeah. I, I normally see it. Uh, I used to associate it with the current MP of Langata. Okay. I think most of his videos he was saying dressed by. Dressed by. Yes. So we are going to cross Gong Road. No, you may be hooting, but maybe there is a uh, vehicle. No, maybe the vehicle has jammed. You know, sometimes the road has a number of issues, you never know. But it maybe it has an issue, just yes, alert the people. So this is the junction between the Ring Road, Kilimani and Gong Road. Ah. 
So for those people uh, connecting from uh, Westlands, you don't need to go up to Nairobi CBD for you to connect back to Langata Road. Yeah. You can always use this road. And it is easy. So this is and Ngong Road. You see like what I was telling you? You see, you see this one, uh, the economy is bad. Are you sure it is up? <laughs> so that, those are the intricacies of the road. can see that one is called casino I don't know if it's casino building or it's just uh, there is a casino there have you ever visited the casino there are so many casinos in here in Mandi, but uh, I'm not visited any ah. so we go straight heads to Langata Road and there is a branch in here it heads to Cabernet Road when you say Cabernet you know uh, just ahead of us the former second president, the late Daniel Moy, used to have a residence here yeah. on the left. So this road connects to Moigas. Moigas, yeah. And you know when, when you come to the issue of Moigas, Moigas is everywhere. I think so he used to have a residence the, here, here on the left. I think now they have turned it into a number of buildings and now we are joining Kibra The famous Kibra Yes, this is up and quite easy the, uh, this, Is it district commissioner or offices? There are district commissioners also there and then in the Islam And here is the U-turn they call it U-turn. It takes you to Makina. I don't know if you know Makina. I know Makina. So we are continuing straight. This is the newly built road that uh, was the connection between Gong Road to Langata Road. And it has made the accessibility of Langata from this side to be easier. Very easy. There is no need to go back to Mbagadi Road. And you always enjoy it. Sometimes you can come on this road and the kind of vehicles that cross this road. Heavy vehicle. Ah. So this is line Sabah. Yep. So the railway line is there. Unfortunately, you cannot see it. This is Kibra. The famous Kibra. So we know. I told you I used to live in this side. I've lived in Nairobi for quite some time. Huh? I've traversed Nairobi. But maybe I don't, I, I'm not yet experienced living <laughs> in, in Nairobi. What is the name of this area now? Uh, is it Mash like, where is Mashimoni? Mashimoni. Is it this Mashimoni? Yes. Okay. And then there's another funny name. Lindy. Lindy. Lindy must be there. Uh, we have uh, Katwekera. Katwekera, that's the name of the Oh, <laughs> Katwekera. I heard in one of your videos you were saying this area is not safe. Yeah. It's very safe. You can see, even now, why did they decide to build this link road if it's not safe? Where we are here, it's if I safe. get a puncture, a tire puncture at 1 a.m., uh, will I be safe? Nairobi is safe. The buildings. And these ones on the left, they were built as. A is it the housing scheme? Yes. They this is the NHC. NHC. Okay. I think they were for the affordable housing. Okay. And I hear people are being given, they were being relocated from Kibra. This these places but there was a unique phenomenon mm -hmm. a person would come get a house go back and rent this house i don't know if it was just rumors or oh, from kibra and then you go rent out and then go back to kibra yes because i was to tell you mm -hmm. do you mean this because if you see the parking lots are just full of vehicles do you mean these people are living in kibra it was supposed to be to relocate those people from kibra affordable housing but i don't know if What's happened along the way? Things change. Okay. And uh, finally, here is the famous Nairobi 
South and Bypass. So I think you can see how the connectivity is. Yeah, so that is how amazing Nairobi roads are. You see, it has taken us less than 30 minutes to connect from Westlands to Langata. At a speed of 20 kilometers per hour. Yeah, we were just moving, trying to, you know, we are connecting with the environment and we have crossed green places. And are you strong for us to continue recording? I, I think we can just go up there and then we see what we can do. You know, there are some people where, okay, when, when we tell them where we are heading next. Uh, some people, is it, do they get goosebumps or they get cold? <laughs> they decide to switch over. No, but nowadays it has become normal. Uh, people do not fear death. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, we are in a, in a generation whereby... You understand what, do, yes. uh, what death is, eh? Yes. So if you tell them you are heading to Langata Cemetery, Nobody gets scared. Okay. Yes. So just ahead here, because we are already in Langata now. So that is how unique Nairobi is. You can and, see a number of vehicles are parked. And uh, if I may ask, you said you have been in Kibra for some time. Yes. And Kibra is next to Langata, and they normally call Kibra Lower Karen. Some people as well. So with this Langata, they normally say it's the highest percentage of people living in Langata Luos. Is it true? No, I don't know. Maybe we go ask the KDBS, the ones that they, they deal with statistics. So mine will be skewed observation. It will be skewed observation? Yes. So you don't have a comment then? I don't have a comment. Unfortunately. But what I can comment on is, uh, yeah. you can see the roads are very nice. Mm. So when you are driving, you feel you are driving on nice roads. You won't fear that your vehicle can get punctures. Even if you get a puncture. Kenyans are good people by the way, let yeah. me tell you. Uh -huh. Yeah, you don't, they'll help you. Like you saw that, uh, the car at Ngong Road. You yeah. see, it was just people who are just helping out. At a few free? Yeah, probably it's for free. Kenyans are very friendly. Maybe when, when once they have done that and you just feel like uh, I need, maybe let let me just give them something. Yeah. So imagine, uh, imagine uh, you are you got stuck because of fuel. And then now you get a down. You get uh, somebody to help you from the road then demand something is that person fair or unfair they don't demand no i just say in case he demands something it depends will they be fair or unfair you can decide to do it or not <laughs> so guys <laughs> now we are officially joining langata road and uh thank you for viewing up to this far make sure you like this video comment subscribe and hit the notification bell if you are visiting us for the first time to ensure you receive all updates and uh, thank you and see you in our next video shifting news explore feel shift